Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to one of the more mysterious and more unusual looking galaxies out there. This is what's known as a hoax object. Interestingly, this is a type of a ring galaxy and not so long ago we've discovered yet another one of these ring galaxies, but this time in really early universe, really really far away from us. And this is what makes this so unusual. So let's talk about this new discovery and welcome to what the math. In general, ring galaxies are some of the more mysterious, more unusual and I guess in some sense cool looking galaxies out there. If you were to ever find the Hoag's object in the night skies, you would see this. And interestingly, there's actually another ring galaxy right inside of it, but this one is much much farther away, as you can sort of tell from all of the redshifting this galaxy is exhibiting. But there are a lot of different ring galaxies out there, and many of them have different creation stories. For the most part we believe they are made in two different ways. Either by experiencing an extremely fast speed collision with another galaxy that just so happens passes right through its heart, through its center. It would maybe look something like this. Let's see what happens with this uh, simulation of the Andromeda galaxy. In this case the galaxy by experiencing this collision will slowly start forming a ring around it. Here is another slightly more accurate uh, simulation produced by James Josephides for this particular study. As you can see, a passage of a galaxy through another galaxy will eventually create this unusual ring formation in the center. And this is something we think may have happened to a lot of the nearby ring galaxies as well. But another way for these galaxies to form is actually through the sheer gravitational effects of an extremely massive central galactic bar that our galaxy also has as well. With time, this sort of starts acting, I guess, in some sense as a blender. And as it spins around the galaxy, it actually causes the stars to slowly form in the ring formation around the galaxy, leaving the empty space in between. And this is how we believe the Hoag's object was most likely formed. It was very likely not a collision, it was more likely to be some sort of a mixing uh, feature of the central region. So the center of this galaxy probably possesses a very massive bar-like formation that may have existed before but that may have disappeared with time as well. So this is essentially the two formation stories for these types of galaxies. Either the collision or the unusual gravitational effects of the central region. But as you can probably imagine, we've always believed these events to either be extremely rare, like in a case of a collision, or just take a much much longer time, probably billions of years. But it just so happens that this particular discovery coming from Nature magazine may have changed all of that. In this case, the scientists were looking at extremely old parts of the universe, roughly around 2-3 to three billion years after the creation of the universe itself. Most of the early galaxies back then looked very different. First of all, they were very likely irregular in shape, they also were much more active, produced a lot more stars, and experienced a lot of different collisions. But none of them would be able to produce anything like a ring galaxy, at least technically, simply because they did not possess necessary shapes. For a ring galaxy to form, it really needs to first start with a relatively flat shape, such as a typical elliptical galaxy, or at least have a kind of a sheet-like formation with all of the stars in the same plane. So it cannot be a regular galaxy, or in other words have very unusual shape, or be an elliptical galaxy and have elliptical shape because these will not produce ring galaxies. It really has to be more or less flat and possess very similar features to the Milky Way galaxy. And then obviously something has to also pass through the center really quick in order for all of this to kind of look like this eventually. But it just so happens that it seems that this is exactly what the scientists discovered, as you can see in the simulation. It was a relatively flat galaxy that eventually turned into a ring galaxy. Okay, we don't really see the signs of collision itself, but we do see the ring. And the only explanation for the ring galaxy so early in the universe is that it had to have received a collision. There is absolutely no way that it would have enough time to form something like this simply through the sheer uh, central region actions or through the actions of the central bar. So a collision must have occurred in this case. But as you can probably imagine, this ring does not look as perfect as the Hoag's object. It most likely looks something like this. It's still somewhat irregular in its shape. It also produces stars about 50 times as fast as the Milky Way galaxy, but what's really interesting about this is that 
It's about twice the size of the Milky Way, suggesting that this ring itself, this actual hole in the middle, is about 37,000 light years in size. And just to help you imagine this, if this is the center of our galaxy and this right here is where planet Earth is located, the distance of the center to the planet Earth is about 27,000 light years. So imagine just a little bit farther, and that's how big this hole is. Which is actually somewhat equivalent, of course, to the hole in the Hoax object as well. At least uh, the current measurements indicate this to be maybe a little bit smaller. Actually, the Hoax object is technically slightly bigger because the distance between the inner diameter here is about 75,000 light years, or approximately double the size. So in that sense, Hoax object is still a little bit cooler. But what is interesting about this discovery, of course, is that it happened so early in the universe when the universe itself was only about 2 to 3 billion years old. So this is an extremely rare event and we got super lucky in seeing how these ring objects were probably made back in the days. And as you can probably imagine, this is the only ring galaxy we've ever found at such distances in essentially early universe. But unlike other ring galaxies we've seen so far, it also is of course different in that it produces stars really fast. It's also really massive and is extremely active. So in that sense, it is also the strangest ring galaxy we've ever discovered. Much stranger, much more active, much more massive than other ring galaxies. With the scientists even referring to this as the ring of fire. Referring to the massive amounts of activity and star creation in the ring itself uh, compared to the center of the galaxy where now there seems to be a hole there. And by the way, the so-called collisional ring galaxies, the ones similar to this one right here, are extremely rare even in the universe near us. For every single galaxy we discovered that was created through collision, there are about 1000 ring galaxies that were created normally through gravitational effects. So this discovery is definitely one of the more rare, more unique galaxies we've found so far. But there is still a bit of a mystery here, in regards to the original shape of this galaxy right before the collision. It was most likely very flat, very thin and similar to a typical spiral galaxy, although probably not as orderly. For a ring galaxy to form, this has to be really thin. And these thin formations, these orderly elliptical galaxies, take billions of years to form. And this, along with the discovery of the previously mentioned Wolf Disk galaxy, does create a mystery in its own. The mystery here being, how is it that the galaxies were able to form these thin formations so quickly, and what exactly caused them to have shapes thin enough for this to actually form a hole on the inside? For a comparison, a typical flat galaxy like this, or like Milky Way for example, will take about 9 billion years to form. These galaxies that we've just discovered seem to have only taken 2 to 3 billion years, so something else might have happened in them, to make them so unusual and to assist them in creating these unusual shapes. Because honestly, as of today, these early disk galaxies kind of make no sense. It doesn't really make sense that they existed so early, and it definitely doesn't make sense that some of them ended up creating ring galaxies as well. All of which of course means that we don't currently really understand how galaxies form. At least not some of the galaxies. There are definitely some exceptions to the rule of creations of galaxies, and as of today, we've already discovered a couple to sort of start asking more questions. But I guess until we discover more about these unusual galaxies and how they form so early in the universe, or until we discover more about this ring galaxy, that's kind of it. We'll definitely talk more about ring galaxies in the future, simply because these objects are really fascinating. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also consider supporting the channel on Patreon, it does help me quite a lot. And alternatively, you can also support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that you can also find in the description below. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.